What is the difference between RSI and CTS? Have you ever felt a twinge in your wrist after hours of gaming or typing? Or maybe your fingers feel a little numb after finishing a big project? We're going to be talking about two conditions that can affect anyone who spends a lot of time using computers. And that is RSI or repetitive strain injury and CTS or carpal tunnel syndrome. Let's start with the RSI. Repetitive strain injury is a general term for injuries caused by repetitive movements, overuse or poor posture. It can affect your muscles, tendons and nerves in areas like your wrists, arms and shoulders. RSI is not always computer related. You can get it from spending long hours driving every day, but it is also commonly occurring in people that use computers for long hours. There are lots of different types of RSI like rotator cuff tear, golfer's elbow and tennis elbow. I actually have tennis elbow and I don't even play tennis. Because you know what they say, you should never marry a tennis player because love means nothing to them. Now CTS is one of those specific types of RSI. It happens when the medium nerve in your wrist gets compressed. This nerve runs through a narrow passage called the carpal tunnel. When this area gets inflamed or swollen, it puts pressure on that nerve causing CTS. So while RSI covers many different issues, CTS refers to just this one specific condition. But what causes these problems? In a computer related environment, RSI can be caused by repetitive typing, continuous mouse use or awkward hand positions. CTS can result from wrist strain, especially if you're constantly bending your wrists or resting them on the hard surfaces while typing. And don't forget about posture. Slouching or hunching over your keyboard puts extra strain on your body, increasing your risk of both RSI and CTS. The symptoms can give you a clue if there's something wrong. RSI often starts with pain or stiffness in the affected area, and this includes a tingling sensation or even weakness. CTS symptoms include numbness and tingling, especially in your thumb, index and middle fingers, and sometimes a weak grip. If you notice these signs, it's time to have a look at the problem. The good news is you can prevent these issues. And here's how. Set up your workspace to be more comfortable. Keep your wrists in a natural position, your back supported and your screen at eye level. Take regular breaks to rest your hands and stretch your wrists and fingers often. Even just a 20 second break every 20 minutes can make a big difference. Technology can also help. Using ergonomic keyboards and mouse designed to reduce strain are great if you can get hold of them. Maybe try installing apps or setting alarms that remind you to take breaks or even try voice recognition software to give your hands a rest. If you want to learn more about ergonomics then check out our video over here. The link will be in the description. Staying active can also reduce your risk. Regular exercise, practicing good posture and include wrist and hand stretches in your daily routine. Simple stretches like making a fist and then spreading your fingers wide can make your hands and wrists flexible. RSI and CTS might sound scary, but with the right habits and tools you can avoid these issues and keep your hands healthy. Remember prevention is always better than cure. If you do end up getting one of these, you can still get some medical advice and treatment like physiotherapy, making adjustments to your work area and make better habits to help minimize pain and heal the problem areas. For more computer terms or if you want to learn about computer theory, make sure that you subscribe to our channel at Miss Long Computer Terms. We also have a practical channel at Miss Long IT and Cat and we're also on TikTok at Miss Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.